All right, ordering section. Now you need to be able to pull the trigger and choose a supplier and actually source the product before you can order, of course. So we're gonna go over when you know if you should go ahead and order the product with the supplier or not. So the first thing is, we need to make sure that they have the top quality product, okay? That meets the consumer needs that we identified in the product research. So remember that we had identified these uh, consumer needs and then we went and found the supplier. So actually make sure, look at the product and look at what the uh, supplier can do for us. We need to make sure that we actually are meeting those needs because if we're compromising on the quality of the product or you know some features that were important in our initial research, well then don't just do that. Actually keep working or go back to, to route one because if we're not differentiating, like we've talked about, then hey, uh, you know, why are we doing it anyways? Because then uh, it's a whole different game. We made this for a reason. So we got the quality that we wanted. We got the consumer needs. Maybe you're not gonna be able to get all of them, but you got enough of them. So kind of do that analysis yourself and use your gut and, uh, you know, but don't compromise just because you're like, have the sunk cost fallacy of, I've already done so much time and talked to the supplier and I guess that's good enough. And it, you know, it's kind of like, you know, make sure that like you, you would be happy and proud and like, look at that product and like, you know, the way it's gonna be customized, look at your competitors and be like, yeah, you know, I think that's the best. And I, I'm gonna be proud of this. I think this is gonna win. You know, you should know, you should get a feeling, like listen to how you feel about it. And if it all makes sense, that it's normally correct. If something feels wrong, don't go ahead and do it anyways. Uh, you know, but it feels right. Go ahead and do it. Uh, obviously, it's got to be profitable. But and then here's the other thing, like use your gut. Do you trust the supplier? Like, are they good to communicate with and all that stuff? And like, here's the other thing. Are they agreeing to the terms? OK, so we've already gone over the template and everything. And maybe they want to agree to every terms, but you're going to negotiate to some point. But did they really push back on returns? OK, did they really push back on inspections? Did they really push back on lead time? Like stuff like that. Um. Like, you know, I want to see that, okay, well, maybe it's because it pushes into their margins, but you can always offer a little bit higher price. But if they're not, uh, if all the things having to do with quality are questionable, then mm, I don't know if you want to source with them. Okay, so, uh, but overall, I would, you know, if you're able to get them to be, you know, agreed. So essentially, if you're able to agree to terms with them, you feel like you trust them, it looks profitable and it looks close enough to your consumer needs and it's a really good quality product, go ahead and do it. Go ahead with that supplier. Now, if you got it down to two, do the one that feels the most right. And always, always, always the quality of the product meeting the consumer needs. Uh, if you didn't find one, go back and look for more suppliers. And if you can't find a supplier, uh, you could try even better ways, like uh, maybe get a sourcing agent or doing something. But I went through 50 manufacturers, just putting this out there, 50 to find the solar eclipse glasses. If I would have compromised and said, okay, I think this is good enough, I would have gone bankrupt, okay? I kept going and kept going and then eventually got, you know, stuff from uh, China and then Europe and then combined it and put it all together. And that ended up being really successful. But it was because I had identified it. I'd done everything right. But if I would have skimped out here and just taken the easy way out, I would have been like everybody else who got screwed and there'd be no epic story of what I did. It was because I did this and it was finally when I trusted that supplier, I got on the phone with him. He said, I'm the best. And, you know, tell me all the reasons why. I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and do this. But yeah. That's how I knew to pull the trigger. Same with my other suppliers. So hope that this is helpful. If you guys have any questions or experiences, maybe some extra insight to add to this, I would really appreciate it. I'm sure everybody else would. So on to the next video now about how you're actually going to go and order once it all feels right.